Welcome guys and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a quiz using Google Forms and link your responses to a separate sheet. So first you need to go to Google Forms docs.google.com slash forms or you can simply go to your Google Drive and click new more Google Forms. And the page will open. Now you can write a title for your quiz, for example, Biology Quiz 1. And you can go to Settings then and set this as a quiz. So to make this as a quiz, you can simply click on this here and you can release the grade immediately after each submission or you can do that later after manual version. So save. Now, first of all, you can um, tell your students to write their email address, or if you don't want that, you can simply, um, so because we need to collect responses to email addresses, or if you want to change settings, you can response receipts, or you can unclick this. So students can always write their names, and you should make that as required. Add another question. You you press on the plus sign here. Question two, for example, ID number, and you can always limit numbers and so that it's a number. This number is, for example, between um, zero and. You can always write description as well for your exam. Kindly answer all of that. Now we will go to add another question. Okay, you can write your question here. I prepared the list of questions on Google Docs. So I'm gonna copy the first question. So feature is responsible for making proteins and you can choose between the variety of types by making a multiple choice question check boxes drop down or you can allow your students to upload their file or you can make a linear scale multiple choice grid or even check box grid. After you finish writing your choices, you need to go to the answer key and you need to write the correct to check on the correct answer and you can always add values or points to your question. Okay. Now you can simply add another question. Let's make it for example labeling a photo. You can always add photos here. You can go to uh, your drive to upload, for example, a label um, image. The image will be uploaded here. So, and I want to make this question as a multiple choice grid. So, in row one, I will write the letters A, B. Okay, and in columns, I'm going to write the answers. You can simply um, write your answers here in my mitochondrion. And then you can go to the answer key in order to label the correct answers. For example, A is the endoplasmic reticulum, B is the mitochondrion, E is the nucleus, and G is the cytoplasm. And you can add points to each question. 
speech link. Now, if my question, is, if my uh, quiz is done, I can simply go to responses and press the green button over here, which will tell me create a spreadsheet. And I can name the, the, the sheet based on the name of my quiz, create. And as you can see here, I can open my file. And this is the sheet going to be like this. I can check what time did the student submit his or her exam, the score, the name, ID number, and the answers of their questions. And we should definitely go to send to finish in order to share the link with our students. We can either also invite our students by their email or share a link, and we can always shorten the URL for the link. We can copy it and paste it on uh, your uh, platform so you can share this quiz with your students. In the next video, I'm going to show you how we can create a pivot table based on the responses we received from our students. Thank you for watching.